My name is Frances Cam, and I'm here to discuss a new book of mine, The Moral Target, Aiming at Right Conduct in War and Other Conflicts. It's a collection of 10 essays, and it's been published by Oxford University Press. The book begins by considering just war theory. Standardly, just war theory deals with the questions of what considerations uh, have to be met in order for starting a war to be just, and what con conditions have to be met in order for conduct during a war to be just. Recently, some moral philosophers have criticized standard just war theory and proposed revisions, and also suggested new topics such as justice after war and whether justice requires that we stop a war at a certain point. The first chapter of the book deals with what just causes of war are and whether, if in fighting we've achieved the just causes, we have to stop fighting, or alternatively, whether we can continue fighting to achieve goals that wouldn't themselves have justified starting the war. The next several chapters deal with the justice of conduct in war. What may opposing combatants permissibly do to each other? What may they permissibly do to non-combatants? For example, could we justify so-called collateral harm to non-combatants if this could have been avoided had combatants taken greater risks on themselves? Are all non-combatants equally protected from being harmed? And is it ever permissible to deliberately harm non-combatants? There's a form of conduct in war that's not often discussed, collaboration with an unjust enemy. I consider whether some forms of collaboration might be or not be permissible in order to minimize harm to innocent civilians. I consider the case of Jewish community leaders in Nazi-occupied Europe in discussing this issue. In dealing with justice after war, I consider whether truth and reconciliation commissions or morally adequate substitutes for punitive punishment of losers on the unjust side, and whether the expected ability to compensate innocent victims of a war might be a further condition on the justice of starting a war. The remaining chapters of the book deal with conflicts outside of standard war. I consider what factors might contribute to making terrorism a distinctive moral wrong, what oppressed groups such as the Taliban women may permissibly do to resist their oppression. And finally, whether the prospect of harm to civilians in a nuclear attack could play a role in justifying nuclear deterrence policy. This book is a companion to my 2011 book, Ethics for Enemies, Terror, Torture, and War, also published by Oxford University Press. And I hope that they'll both be of interest to you.